Okay, so this last subtopic, and we're finally finished, uh, molecular manufacturing. The syllabus actually just says appreciate, uh, and so appreciate uh, a lot the terms here that we're applying here. So I'm not really sure, um, appreciate, I'm not really sure how well um, you can ask a question on this on the test, but um, there are a few key terms here that might come up. Uh, not probably not a big thing on the test, but certainly a big thing in the future and uh, something that could well uh, justify you doing, getting a PhD and working on this in the future. Okay, so uh, molecular manufacturing, very cutting edge. Uh, it's just a branch of nanotechnology, so that's less than 100 nanometers, uh, and it's just building uh, microscopic uh, molecule by molecule, atom by atom machines. Uh, and by the way, none of this is, is new. Uh, enzymes, it, we're basically just uh, creating new enzymes to do things that we want it to do. Um, and so just a little bit of a warning there, if uh, that's exactly what we did with plastics, and that caused a lot of trouble. Um, and as you can see from the title of this video, um, a lot of this nanotechnology stuff um, Star Trek, look at the first versions of Star Trek on Netflix, uh, that's the Terminator, um, there seems to be an endless amount of movies that are using this as a prediction of our downfall, uh, as everything always is, okay, so obviously there are great potential for trouble here, um, but um, let's, let's see how things go, there's no stopping it I guess, um, so catenines are interlocking rings, so these things can spin around, uh, and also we've managed to be able to uh, work out how to spin those things around. Uh, so catenine, I think that's Latin for um, chains, and uh, I think this is Latin for axle. I have to check that out. So, so that's uh, rotoxanes. Uh, and so these ones are a little bit more interesting because they can move up and down, uh, and they can also go up and down this way, and they can also spin as well. So there's a bit of a more complex machine that's built there, and there's uh, the fullerenes and buckyballs we've talked about before. So now we're into uh, combining all of these components to make uh, different moving parts. And so here's uh, an example from the Oxford textbook. Um, so obviously the messenger RNA, this is just a, a synthetic uh, way of creating proteins that we've, uh, that we've created. Uh, and so this, this bit moves along here and as it moves along it catches all the... Um, all the different parts, the amino acids to make a poly, polypeptide. Uh, and so there's, um, uh, obviously this is cutting edge, so there's more and more stuff being created. So just a couple of key terms to finish off. Uh, and so nan nanorobots, we are just basically mimicking what uh, bacteria do all, all, the long, all the while anyway. So they can move, so just uh, microscopic things that can move. Uh, they can actually talk to each other, interact with each other, and they perform a specific function. So they, uh, uh, set to do certain things now because it's biology um, biology is all about reproducing if you don't reproduce you die uh, and so that's the end game for every purpose uh, organism in biology uh, and so that may not be something we want we may not want it to reproduce could be the end of humans we may want it to just um, maybe inject a drug or find a cancerous cell and destroy it and that's its sole function and then it dies off um, obviously that's not sustainable uh, and if you don't reproduce you die off but if but humans can now create uh, something uh, and be in control of whether it lives or dies uh, because it just has that specific function and it can't survive because it doesn't have the instructions to reproduce. Okay, chemical sensors has been going on for a long time, uh, just getting them smaller and smaller. Uh, and then top-down manufacturing and bottom-up manufacturing are just two ways uh, that we're going about trying to make these machines. So just removing parts, um, I'll correct that later, molecules, uh, and uh, or just more like a 3D printing, just building it up bit by bit from the top. All right, so that's the, uh, the last video, uh, just sort of... Uh, like the end of a science report, um, extensions and further experiments. So this is where we're going. All right. And this is why we need chemistry so badly. Obviously, it's the great step, next step forward, hopefully. Okay. Good luck with your exams. And that's all from me. Bye-bye.